This is Alex with uh, Liquid Arts Entertainment. We are here with someone super special. This is Lori Hernandez. Hi. Lori, hi. How are you guys? If you guys don't know, she's an Olympic gold medalist and also winner Dancing with the Stars. Lori, so tell me about this event. What are you most excited about, about today's event? Uh, what have you seen and what stuck out to you? Um, I love the fact that women are speaking about being empowered in their sports and um, the fact that they want to bring attention to all the hard work that they also put in and I think that's really important. Awesome. Now this is also like a curveball question. So when is the time that you've done something really nice for somebody that you never, ne never, uh, that you don't know? And what did you do and why? Wow. Um, that's a really good question. I mean, there was one time, I mean, uh, it was kind of my mom's idea where we were uh, walking around and there were just like a, a lot of like homeless people and we put like, um, we had little notes and we put like one dollar bills in them and we had we had like you'll be fine just keep moving like stuff like that and we handed them out to everybody but I, I have to do something like that again soon. That's awesome. So how'd you get that idea? Was it just something that you guys your mom thought of or? My mom thought of it and now I was like yeah absolutely. Awesome. So with all the things that you've done just a short amount of time I mean yes it's been 11 years since you you know started gymnastics but the short amount of time that you've done things, I mean, what are the, what's the thing that you're most proud of? Like, aside from gymnastics? Yeah, in your life. Ooh, um, dancing with the stars. Uh, no, I guess aside from all, all the main stuff, I think I'd be most proud of how I've, how I've grown. I've definitely had to mature quickly because of everything that's been thrown at me. Um, and I've definitely learned a lot of interesting life lessons that my mom is always saying, I wish I learned that at your age. And, uh, uh, I've been getting that a lot, and so I'm really grateful to have all these incredible experiences so that way I can be molded into a different person every time I try something new. That's awesome. Um, and last question here. You seem to have a really hold on, a good hold on your identity. And, and you, you, like, it's, like, it's like you know who you are, yeah. right? So what is, what's helped with that, and how do, how, do you, you know, how do you inspire others to find their identity? Um, I think that definitely comes from my family. They're always very grounded and always trying to make sure that I'm grounded as well. But uh, it's kind of like at a young age you realize, you know, maybe not when you what you want to do as a job in the future, but who you want to be as a person. And um, I've always, I, I love to tell jokes. I love to kind of be comedic and funny and also be bubbly and be happy, but also share sad emotions and show that. And I just, I wanted to have all of that. And so... It's almost like being put in so many situations that I was able to feel that I feel molded and it's like, you know, with every day that passes by, I get to figure out more and more of who I am as a person and it's just staying true to yourself. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, Lori, thanks so much for being a part of this. We really appreciate it. Always good to have you. Yeah. Any last words you want to say? Um, thanks for supporting me. This has been such an insane journey and I'm glad that everybody's <laughs> still, you know, it's very easy for people to lose interest in something, and I just feel that everybody's been very supportive. So, you guys are the best. Awesome. Thanks so much, Lori. We appreciate you. Thank you.